While we want to educate our patients and, and their families, it, it's more than just education. It's this concept of, of disease management, if you will. And, and I like this definition that comes from the Disease Management Association of America, where it really talks about disease management as a system of coordinated healthcare interventions and communications for populations with chronic medical conditions, like we're going to discuss here today, respiratory related, in which the patient has the ability to self care for you know, themselves and take a little bit of responsibility for themselves. So, you know, I think that's vitally important that, that, that the self-care, the self-management, some responsibility comes into this from the patient standpoint. So it, it's a little bit more than education. And, and in fact, if, if you kind of look at the, some broad-based goals of, of what disease management is there to, to provide, you know, ultimately it's there to reduce the rate of disease progression in, in chronic conditions. Today we're going to focus on respiratory conditions, but, but more specifically, it's looking at things like eliminating or reducing the risk factors. Now we're going to talk a, a lot about risk factors uh, as they relate to asthma, but all those diseases have risk factors. COPD has risk factors, and we'll talk about those. So again, sometimes it, it, it's hard to eliminate them, but if we can reduce them or minimize those risk factors uh, of, of a chronic condition uh, of the respiratory system, then we perhaps enhance quality of life and, and, and prolong uh, the overall life, if you will.